unexpected money. A main male could be expecting unexpected money for something. I'm hearing I did what you asked, but they're going to be ghosted, I just heard, or left out in the cold. All right. couple here that was working together with someone to cause someone bad health yeah main female lovers i feel like they were expecting some unexpected wealth by working together with someone but now they're in despair all right about some sort of great fortune here somebody could have traveled here took on a journey here with a wealthy man Somebody's concerned now, okay? Um, how can we ghost this person? How can we get away with something? So if somebody was expecting a payment of some sort from a wealthy man that with a couple energy here, this couple is trying to figure a way out how to scam this person or get away with something not paying them. Um, because they didn't, if something didn't work for them, somebody's not in bad health. Or something like that. Yeah, somebody's been awakened to this here as they look at look within. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, there's somebody that was doing some alchemy here, balancing that. With a past life situation or a past life soulmate, some karmic situation. Could be getting balanced out. Hmm. this marriage okay yeah this person is these this couple is like power hungry or really doing too much okay yeah when it came to traveling somebody could have been tracking someone or watching someone um traveling pains cancer energy they could have traveled here like i said to manifest something here yeah wow but something didn't work. So whoever this person is, they lied. Maybe they lied to these people. Or they lied to this person so that they could do some sort of work for them. But they could have told them that they're going to pay them the other half. Or they gave them a little bit. But they're trying to figure a way not to pay them. Because they didn't get their desired results on something. But he said, I did everything you had. So... Yeah, I'm seeing somebody looking at their phone. Somebody had a picture of someone. So if you were out and um, you noticed something strange, you were on point. All right. Yep. Now it's cleanup time. The past returned for a time, for a little bit. So the past, something from the past came back around here situation here yeah by doing they're gonna be cleaning this shit up in the morning okay everything should be fine for you guys all right yeah because somebody was releasing power here some weird shit on y'all releasing some sort of energy we make money that's what we are here to do that's why you put capital into the stock market but the mechanics of how you do it most people don't get it right we found true freedom in trading high quality stocks and trading them this way with we don't, we don't even fuck around with that man that's just more devilish shit see that devil on that man's face we don't fuck around with that that's just something for the already to lie and say he got it you know that was his that was his problem just busting now because he don't have that power no more. That money was his power. Them stocks and bonds was his power. Now, 
he don't have that power no more. Yeah. The ghost on the past. The past returns for a time. Sweet memories. So let's see. Any more. What is the past return for a time? What else is going on? Whatever this is, you're going to heal from it. You can't make it up. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Somebody just keeps doing voodoo, paying people to do voodoo, trying to hurt you. And it's like they thought they had it in the bag here. Or whatever this voodoo and blue energy is. But you being true to yourself here caused some sort of powerful energy shift. And you are healing from this chaos. Magical cleaning space here. Yeah, because somebody was meditating and trying to overstep your boundaries. Like literally trying to attach an entity or some nasty energy to you to cause sickness, illness, or whatever. Sad. That's why I'm so wrapped. Got so much wrath in me right now, you know what I'm saying? Feel kind of angry, you know what I'm saying? I feel messed over, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I went a lot of years being blinded by people that I thought really loved me, you know what I'm saying? You know, don't trust nobody that can talk about you behind your back, man. You know what I'm saying? Can slander your name, can, can get you under a spell or something, you know what I'm saying? And get you on social security and make people forget about who you used to be and make them think you some crazy person. That woman had a dude named Hobo. He died at 66, like my mama died at 66, and my grandfather died at 66. Hobo, me and him was cool. You know how they have this Hobo, but she was talking to Hobo tonight. I seen her before the day I met her the next day. So it was kind of a thing where, you know, I just, you know, went on and, and dealt with it because of the sake of God. You know what I'm saying? I knew what I was doing. That's why when his uncle, his nephew asked me, you know, uh, did I want to go meet her? She was a good woman uh, uh, that liked children, you know what I'm saying? She'll make a good woman for Jack. I said, no, nah, man, whatever God got for me, I'll get it. You know what I'm saying? The very next day, man, I met the lady. So, you know, you know, things happen, you know what I'm saying? We let things go by this and that. But she had three husbands, you know, she's married to me, him, and him, you know what I'm saying? And all three, you know, one of them asked me that I like watching her have sex, you know what I'm saying? Somebody else, I knew she don't know what, whoever her, you know what I'm saying? So, he asked me that, man. I was like, man, he asked me that, man. You know what I'm saying? I went on with my shit, you know what I'm saying? I just stopped fucking with everybody, man. Then they stole my motorcycle, and I know she had something to do with that. And she gave the keys to them and put the shoes in the tank. And they were messed up, you know what I'm saying? All that. He had stole the last motorcycle I just had. Then the one I left behind, she stole that one, had it sold or something. She thought everything that I left, she thought, even if it had my name on the title, she took it and thought it was for her. You know, you could say shit about her family and shit. She thought you was going to ruin her family and her church and shit. They was just, them devils like a motherfucker. They don't want you to talk about this. Voodoo and blue. Back off, Voodoo.
So like I said, somebody could have been tracking you using gadgets with wisdom. Using their technology to their advantage here. Storm angels are here. Count your blessings because like it's a miracle here. But they're going to have to return to sender energy. All right, you guys. So there's that. Okay. From now on, everything I tell them is going to be something they need to hear pertaining to life and death the next couple of days until we all free and everything is done. This is a This ain't no vacation. There's no family vacation. This ain't no time to take one. So maybe this is how, so somebody could actually be watching the fuck out of you guys. Watching everything that you do. Yeah. yeah this is definitely somebody that need to check themselves. Forex.com, the number one Forex broker in the US. Part of Stonex. Of Wait, this shit is getting crazy. So fake smiles here. Somebody could be smiling in your face, in your face or whatever. Like I said, this could be a toxic couple here that just hates seeing you win. You don't even notice these people, okay? They notice you, yeah, it's a waste of time. Like this person is, it's their worst nightmare. You are literally these people's worst nightmare. Cause it was a waste of time here. All right, nothing changed, no changes. You're stuck. It's like, oh my gosh. All right, I don't know what the issue is. Yeah. Schedule, stress, delays, time management. Somebody was in a rush here. Look at that. Nightmares. So somebody's definitely angry as fuck, y'all. Yes. Because they want you to be ain't shit, but you are. So somebody is wasting time to, or they're feeling like they wasted their time again. Alright, they're really angry. Okay. Because they keep trying to time something or whatever this is. And every time you get away here, somebody could be having nightmares. Anxiety, sleep paralysis, insomnia, bags under their eyes. Like, they may want you to go through that. Okay, yeah, look at that. You dodged a bullet. Blocked by and blocking negative energy, crazy people, and protected by hate uh, from haters. Okay, so. <laughs> You guys, the bullets somehow collective again. Like, these people are just like off their rocker with the brainstorming in the reverse. They don't even understand how. Like, you were right there. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. We got caution. Yeah, somebody needs to be cautious with you, okay? Um, putting on the show here, trying to block you here. I told you they're watching everything you do, collective. And they're like, what the fuck? Like, somebody has bags under their eyes, just tired, like, because of all the shit they're trying to do to you. That shit is crazy. And I'm sleepy. You on my part. And I'm sleepy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna get off this thing now, man. And I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Peace.